Well, if you visited a news website today, maybe you contributed to the single biggest number of page, page views of any story over the past 24 hours. There was one article that eclipsed everything else on newshub.co.nz today. And believe it or not, it was the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. In a drama-filled case of Hollywood celebrities, a jury found Depp had been defamed by his ex-wife, awarding him nearly $22 million. But Heard was also awarded cash, some $3 million, after Depp's lawyer called her abuse allegations a hoax. For more on how this case was covered and followed, I'm joined now by Dr Kevin Veal from Massey University. Thanks for coming on with us, Kevin. What role did social media like TikTok play uh, in how this trial was consumed? TikTok and YouTube and other social media platforms have played an enormous role. Uh, hashtags have been used to organise, distribute and promote a vast amount of content that's been created um, around the trial. And people have been reenacting scenes from the trial to mock Amber Heard, which has created a whole style of meme all, all on its own. People reenacting those memes and mashing them up and um, promoting those memes as well. So it just keeps kind of feeding on itself. And that content has then been promoted to enormous audiences on those platforms, dramatically increasing the number of people exposed to a largely one-sided perspective on what's been going on. And um, that's created wave after wave of secondary content with people linking to those videos on Instagram or having takes about the opinions in them on Twitter. Um, and it's been functionally very difficult to get away from this content as a result. Yeah, with billions and billions of these TikTok videos, wasn't it? How concerning uh, is it uh, when you have a serious subject like family violence being reduced to memes and hashtags? Uh, it's extremely dehumanising. The trial's been turned into entertainment and people have been following it like sport. Uh, the approach itself encourages new people to take sides and social media profits from any engagement and arguing between the supporters of the different sides. And this is built into the court case itself. My understanding is that online support is paid to have some kind of parade float covered in messages driven past the building that the court case was happening in that was visible to the jury. It's a mess and it encourages people to treat this kind of discussion about serious family violence as judgeable less on facts than on who you like more. Regardless of who was guilty or innocent here, what impact has the trial had on survivors of abuse? My understanding is that it's been extremely exhausting and traumatic for survivors of abuse of all genders because it's been impossible to get away from and because of the de dehumanising element where people are turning suffering into memes and games and reenacting them for fun and then trying to one-up each other and create new content around it and turn it into music videos. It's, um, it, it, yeah, it's turned it into entertainment. So just very quickly now, people of course are making money from all of these clicks. How do they draw us in and how can we stop that? Are we powerless? <laughs> Absolutely not. We, we have a lot of power, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll focus on the question, sorry. Um, Dave, got us into it through making it hard to get away from. The Daily Wire is a conservative outfit that spent something like 45,000 US dollars on advertising to get ads on Facebook and Instagram, pushing articles about the trial, articles which then link to videos, and all of that raises the chances that somebody will click for, to find what's going on. Um, people pick sides and favourites, and then we get invested. There's a thing that Catherine Cross calls civic fan fiction, where we tell stories about the rich and famous in ways that makes them more relatable to us, rather rather than the reality. Yeah, we want, we want to be part of the story, don't we? Hey, yeah. Kevin, thanks very much for your insights tonight. Thank you very much for your time.